Yet, uh, Benesh is in the Adlo Shikka, um, doing something silly and making this as I'm heading down the mountain. I know, Mom, I'm sorry. Sorry, Shema. <laughs> and to my friends, I know you're saying Yadala, but um, <laughs> I, you know, just had this um, beautiful experience this morning and wanted to share that. Um, as I'm just, you know, doing a hike and, you know, greeting the sun and just getting ready for summer here in the desert. And I sat on top of the mountain and got to talk with some beautiful hummingbirds. There was this, I don't know where they all came from, but they were just flying around and swarming and it had me think about begin to think about languages the languages that we that we speak and that we know you know whether they be of the hummingbirds and the way that they they fly and communicate around us to the birds and the insects and the bees and how amazing it is that we live in this fourth world in the glittering world where we all can coexist and you know I'm thinking about Hongjo you know, Hongjo is not just religion, not just harmony, but it's really about the intersections of all of us, of plants, of birds, and hummingbirds, and bees, and, you know, horses, and I'm just really excited to exist with you all. Um, in this beautiful space and thinking about language and, and our language and how it's important to know and how it's important to practice what we know, um, whatever that may be, you know, so I'm just overcome and thinking too about how our language is beautiful. Isn't it amazing how there are no words of harm of profanity within our language and how promising that is, how innately as the Neh people we are supposed to treat each other with love and kindness, show each other affection, greet each other by saying Yat eh Shema, Yat eh Shade, Yat eh Shana. That's incredible. <laughs> And so, I'm emotional because there are so many languages we should be open to and we think about like our ancestors and how they were able to communicate with each other, with one another and whether they were Dine or Otam or Pueblo, that we had the ability to communicate and connect with each other and how important that is, especially in a time that I think in a society that wants us to be separate, wants us to lose those markers of culture and those markers of individuality. And I think it's up to us especially as indigenous people to hold on to those things and as I'm making this more hummingbirds <laughs> flying around and so it's such a good morning and um, I'm thinking about languages about the song that I heard in autumn this is the, the, the land the people whose land I live on now um, and I wrote a blog about it, but the the song, which I can't, couldn't understand because I don't speak autumn, but the song's phrase that I always go back to ever since I heard it is, in a desert a mountain rises. And I love that metaphor um, because as Diné people, as a good friend told me, you know, the the mountains, the zith, zith, are our teachers 
and we must hold on to that, connect with it, learn to speak the language of the mountains and how incredible is it to be able to be a people with that resiliency embedded in us. And as indigenous, as in native people, we all have that and it's up to us to seek that, know what those are individually between our cultures. And so I'm thinking about this as I'm heading down the mountain and trying not to trip and wishing you all a good morning, a good day, a happy weekend. And I'm so grateful. Let's remember to speak love speak not just our truth into existence but that we can do that with love and respect for one another how we talk to each other not choosing to objectify not choosing to put down the mother hummingbird and uh, that's our choice we can choose to thrive in this world and we can choose to access our teachings and I think that that's really important and incredible so I hope that you have a great day, Shika. Sending you so much love and light from this mountain that I'm standing on in Autumn Land. And hope that you have a good day. Keep shining. Yeah.